Y2 Festival 2012. Make some noise! <laughs> that is what I'm talking about right about now. D-F-A-F-D, you know the slogan, man. This is Don't Flop, fully in session. Third of three battles of the night. It's Ur uh, hosting the shit as usual. E-U-R-G-H, hit me on at Twitter on Twitter. At Don't Flop on Twitter as well. YouTube.com slash Don't Flop. Big up every supporter. We got some die-hard Don't Flop fans in the front row. Shout out them. Big up all the people in the back that just wander past and wonder what was going on, do you know what I mean? Okay. Let's get into the third and final battle of the night here at Latitude Festival 2012. On the right hand side, representing the rapping team, Mickey Worthless. Make some noise! Yo, I want to big up my English teacher at school, Mr. Liddy. I didn't realise how much of a G he was at the time. I know now. Peace. Yeah. And uh, on the left hand side, no real introduction needed. Repping that Rogue Teacher show in theatres in Edinburgh and all that right now. Mark Griss makes a noise. Shout out Mark and every time. Shout out Mickey every time. Man, this is about to be a classic. Mickey chose to go first. It's 90 seconds on Mickey Worthless DFA of D. Yo, it's good latitude. Right, we're going to get into this. Check. You either look like a newsreader or a geezer who used to present on Blue Peter. <laughs> Fuck this school teacher who has tantrums and comes across all diva. Zane beat you. You got burnt like a bad cook. I remember you whining online about the outcome like a sad puff. You put yourself on a pedestal and think you're unbeatable, so when you lost, you said you were gonna quit like a prick. That's a whack look. He said it wasn't fair. Who remembers how he's nearly crying when Zane pulled out a laptop? Yeah. He probably fucking died if I pulled out a MacBook. <laughs> Shit, you're a puss puss. Watch me roll this bag like it's Amber Leaf. He's the sort of cunt that says shit like Footloose and Fancy Free. He tells the students to shush shush so he can teach the tambourine and has a packed lunch that consists of couscous and a tangerine. <laughs> you weren't hanging with me. I ain't no fool. Mark, you're old, but you ain't old school. I'm an OG, and when you're old G, you know G. So you should fucking take the G out your name and change it to Mark Wrist, because you're a wanker, and you ain't no G. You ain't a great writer. You're a biter, a pretender, my dude. I'm the guy who inspired your Mrs. Green scheme against Blizzard. You stole your ender from Seuss. Zayn completely outperformed you. Mixie carries you through two on twos. You stumbled in your most profile. What the fuck do you actually do? You read poems to grannies at tea time. I get hoes and I bang them. My team's nice. You don't want it with me. You are not an MC. I'm a vet. I put old dogs to sleep, right? You want to battle me? Right. You're in deep shit. Knee high. You trying to clash? That's a fail. Your raps ain't fail. You might as well spat in braille. Time. time. Yeah. Yep. Round one, Mark Gris, let's do this! Yeah. 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 If you haven't heard of Mickey Worthless, let me offer Gristy's verdict. He's a skinny, lippy urchin who's never busy working. A £1.50 purchase will physically hurt him. A sticky little pervert so riddled deep with herpes, you leave every chick you flirt with a distinctly itchy cervix. <laughs> don't work was a suitable catchphrase and yet you still dress most days like you're in the midst of a sack race I mean <laughs> quit school don't work I copied the first half he copied the second now washes in bird baths why not why not try why not try a little harder why not take on a profession why not see that you're not God and every day is not the seventh why not start your own academy like teach the world a lesson how you use your personality as a form of contraception these may, <laughs> these may seem seem like I've going to be writing out battle, uh, question, ba battles in, with this question but today all Mickey's earning is a gristy intervention you spend your daytimes lying stagnant with no purpose, pride or cash Then nights you swoop out in the Badlands Where any mediocre rap fan uses scissor kicks and backhands To kick your ass like they were Van Damme I can't believe you opt for this, it's really such a bad plan All that you've achieved is you're the opposite of Batman <laughs> And he gets dug up 
so many, he gets buried so many times they dig him back up so he can take it. Now he's half dead, son, grey, dick, just Rowan's backwards sidekick. And why fight his ice cream? He gets what he needs inside it. He likes his bars white. And the bars that Rowan writes for him. There's only one year's difference between us. It's hardly teacher versus student, but the day's the day you learn that swagger's another word for bullshit. <laughs> Come with, bruv, I should smash your god. For the record, I'm off the dole now. Rap's my job. Real talk. That's true. Now check it. You're a gimmick like the red rooster. I'm a hero like the blue blazer. I smoke a lot of blue cheese. You could call me a blue blazer. He's got about as much swag as his school uniforms, blue blazer. His girl wanted to buy me some new Nikes. I was like, cool, I send these blue blazers. <laughs> Yo, that's a, you get it. He got it. He, he got it. Yo. <laughs> After she sucks my dick, I get a high. The deal is, after she blew, blazer. <laughs> Yo, we like to shower after. I like the water hotter than she. Her face looks soft and peaceful. She likes to wash me first as she spreads the soap over my balls, lifts the balls, squeeze them. Bukowski. Yeah, he's got it, he's got it in the end. Blue blazer. Then she starts to wash the cock. Hey, this thing's still hard. Damn right it's still hard, bitch. I ain't Mark Chris. Don't fuck you all night. Right, I got that large dick. <laughs> Comparing me to you, that's like Hollywood to Hollyoaks. <laughs> or Beyonce Knowles to Holly Bowes. That's like comparing Eminem to Asheroff G. Or a brand new Nike tracksuit to some skin tight acid washed jeans. Me losing to you ain't part of the plan, yo. You're like my biggest fan, you kind of remind me of Stan, bro. But I might just switch out and start smacking in stand -up. I'm about to bring this chicken beef like there's a Mackey's in Nando's. Woo! Woo! <laughs> you fucking pussy, yo. <laughs> Check this one. Standing there in your wellies. The soul of them smells like your girl's pussy. Hella smelly. Time. <laughs> that you're under, me and my girlfriend enjoying the festival with each other, whereas your missus left you because she hooked up with a drummer. I mean, correct me, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't rap an odd decision if you can't keep hold of women due to problems with your rhythm? <laughs> Composing stout riddles, but you're clearly out packed class. The showman now wriggles, stumbling and mumbling, his foaming mouth spittles. Anyone would think they were closing down littles. You <laughs> lost the battle of life quite a few times, but I'm here to play position. You got the swag of Jamie Oliver, twist the knife through each incision, so it ain't just our mutual friend who provides your daily dose of Dickens. Blazing weed is an artistry, you should have gone the priory, and your days are so repetitive you were disowned by your diary. I mean, come on man, come on man, don't lie to me, you fucked it up entirely, what's giving more excuses than the Leveson inquiry? You. have no redeeming attributes, so <laughs> continue firing mad abuse, I don't care, Nothing. the only thing that gets me mad with you is your relentless sexist attitudes, stumbling out after rapping feuds shouting, I need me some pussy, how sad are you? <laughs> let, me, let me give you another phrase to take back with you from latitude, how about any holes a goal, go on, share that with the pigeons, because your behaviour <laughs> pigeonholes every battler in the division, you should be castrated quick, testicles ripped into pieces, then spray paint pink like every other festival sheep is. Oh! It didn't have to end like this during medieval sieges. Your avoidance of hygiene would help Archimedes. They'd load you in a catapult prime and release it, launch you over battlements with your three STDs, which would swiftly infect the indigenous species. Yeah. <laughs> Three STDs, Mickey, your sexual health is appalling. I pity the girl you slip a Mickey to and drag under your tarpaulin. <laughs>
This next bar is for all of my fans still in school wish they could tell their teachers to fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> You're a fucking mug. Try to put me in detention and I will smack you, you fucking cunt. <laughs> Out of every guy in Don't Flop, you are the muggy guy. I will walk into your classroom and peanut your time. <laughs> then I'll follow you to the staff room and give you a granddad. Actually, no, wait, I won't do that, bro. You're already a granddad. <laughs> if someone says bombs over Baghdad, they don't think about our past. He starts to have flashbacks. <laughs> Yo, check it. Now, Mark Christ, you're a neat, bro. Mark Chris, now nah, you're more like that Mark prick from Peep Show. Which is kind of funny, because you could compare me to Jeremy, but Jeremy's the boss of Carl, so there's nothing that you're telling me. Imagine if we actually were flatmates. That would be peak for you. I'd be locking you in your bedroom, having fucking parties so nobody could fucking speak to you. I'd be on the couch, borrowing all sorts of money and never paying it back now. And if you try and ask, raise the people's eyebrows and start to lay the smack down. Bro, you can't change the channel. Yes, I ate your pizza. Tomorrow we're having Sky installed. You're gonna pay the geezer. <laughs> I don't care if you got an education. I don't give a fuck if you went to school. Cause you fucking look exactly like Phil Mitchell did before the cunt went bald. <laughs> Fuck poetry. <laughs> Real rap. Fuck you, fuck poetry. They don't really rhyme and they ain't flowing, G. That book you sent me was a nice thought, but you're a prick anyway. So he reads Bukowski. Man like me read Hemingway. <laughs> that didn't go off that well, but I thought it was gonna. I honestly thought I was gonna fuck up all poetry tech. Let's do a reference, you know what I'm saying? Right, yo. <laughs> It didn't work out for me, G. Fuck no. Listen, so I'm supposed to show you gratitude because I get to battle you with latitude? Nah, I nearly didn't prep bars. I'm just going to come here and start smacking you because I don't respect the wackest dude. Ask yourself, what have you actually contributed to the scene? Nothing. You're in some hop in right quick. Hop in, hop out right quick. Nah, me? You're the lamest dude. There's a reason there's so many non-MCs that want to battle now and I'm blaming you. You opened the door for so many fucking whack shit. Be embarrassed. What did we get in return? You whining online. Shut the fuck up, pussy. You know what I mean? I'll jump in the crowd and swing for a guy. <laughs> what do we get in return? Yo, what do we get in return? Him crying online about the judges, complaining because he thought he got bumped on a mad rant trying to vent. You don't support shit, bro. You don't even fucking promote nothing. You don't come to one event. That's a complete disrespect to guys like me who have bent over backwards and had to sweat to get every fucking view that they get. So you get two million views, but fuck off, no one sees you. I've grinded to the top of Don't Flop. So if someone should be grateful to be in this battle, it should be you. Time. Final round. Final round of Don't Flop tonight, it's on Mark Chris, let's go. All that aggressive shit, like I know you like to come across as tough and all, but you're so lazy that ain't possible. I could place this sleaze in hospital just by claiming breathing's optional. Are you a waste MC? <laughs> Rhetorical, it's plain to see you're horrible. When I say you're looking doleful, that is mostly metaphorical. I can't believe that at one point in time, there were a hundred million sperm and you were the most ambitious. <laughs> I bet your father's jism must have burned through petri dishes. <laughs> that poor guy was diseased, every seeming of dollop squeezed from his testicles weren't seminal, it was more like cottage cheese. <laughs> I bet he cried with sorrow as he flogged it round the grotto. I bet your mother most nights had to chew before she swallowed. <laughs> Battles, but you're making it easy. Make some noise if you think that Zayn Azray beat me. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not annoyed because you're un <laughs> I'm not annoyed because you're unemployed. I've got friends and family who struggled in that void, but those were men and women, not wannabe what lost boys who brag out on Twitter like it's there to be enjoyed. And while others bust a gut from Mondays through to Sunday, your Twitter feed don't start up till most guys have done their lunch break. <laughs> You're in need of an F, though you'll continue to deny it. The closest you'll ever get is a midlife crisis. And I'm not quite as spineless. I thought one of us should fight it. So this may sound quite surprising, but you won't believe what I did. I got Mickey Worthless a job. <laughs> Real talk. That's right. 
tomorrow at four o'clock, you're going to start to pay your way. There's a stand around the back called the Poetry Takeaway. You're going to be in there all evening, sat in the middle, getting paid £10 an hour for the writing you scribble. Uh, the paperwork's done, so I guess it's official. At this point in time, Mickey Worthless is in Blizzled. <laughs> They'll pay me, but it'll be proven that I'm right. You're not struggling, just lazy. Cool. Time. Oh, okay. Cheers.